My name is Callum and I'm working at Riken Japan and I'd like to thank Nanapur for giving me this opportunity to present my work on RNA splicing from the mouse brain during aging. Aging is a long-term process of decline and failure of many systems. Some hallmarks of aging include the accumulation of DNA mutation and the accumulation of um, senescent cells. Many environmental factors also influence aging, including diet, exercise and the microbiota in the gut. It was found almost 30 years ago that the lifespan of the mouse can be extended by housing them in a germ-free environment. In addition, I have an interest in the role of RNA in the disease, in particular neurological disease. Recently, there has been much speculation about the use of synthetic RNA as therapeutic tools, and in particular, the use of small ASOs that can correct for splicing dysregulation. First, we need to deeper understand of aging with a focus on RNA splicing and isoform expression in order to find therapeutic targets for healthy aging. Our study feeds from a much larger study at Riken that looks to fully characterize the aging process in multiple organs with a focus of the interaction of the inflammation pathways, what we may term inflammation. We managed to request a small portion of the brain that is the frontal cortex tissue in which we extracted total RNA and then enriched for mRNA and sequenced using the direct RNA sequencing kit from Nanopore. After base calling, we then analyzed expression of differences and also the raw signal that is unique to the direct RNA sequencing. We sequenced between three to five animals per group, looking at both housing, sex and age. From the sequencing, most libraries generated more than 1.5 million pass filtered reads with an average length of 1,000 nucleotide and percent identity above 90%. The transcriptome alignments were fed into Nanopore transcriptome pipeline for analyzing differential gene and transcript expression. Overall, we saw that most of the sequencing depth was taken up by protein coding genes, as we expect, but we can see some coverage of link RNA and non-coding RNAs, but due to the coverage, they are unlikely to feature in a downstream analysis. Due to the lack of PCR, we do see relatively better coverage of longer transcripts relative to cDNA PCR protocol, which is obviously another be benefit of the direct RNA sequencing protocol. When grouping conditions together and comparing old versus young mice, we see around 500 differentially expressed genes, and most of these variation is coming from the SBF group, with fewer DEGs in the germ-free mice. In the bottom left, we can see some example genes from the SPF mice showing the complement receptor 4B being upregulated in the aged mice. This gene has been linked to neurodegeneration through synaptic pruning by microglia. When in analyzing the enriched gene families, we see a stark difference to the types of gene families that are dysregulated between aging from the germ-free and SPF mice. For instance, the FBS mice, we can see typical neurobiological associated terms. Whereas in germ-free mice, we see many gene groups related to both innate and adaptive immunity. The relevance of this is still being investigated. Of the genes that not differentially expressed at the gene level, we found around 500 genes with at least one or more differentially, uh, differential transcript usage. On the right-hand side, we can see such an example of a gene that is not significantly differentially expressed at the gene level, but we can see a significant isoform switch from a coding to a non-coding version of the carbonic anhydrous 2 gene in the aged SPF mice. Another great use of long read data from Nanopore is the ability to identify novel isoforms of both known genes and even novel intergenic loci to rescue unmapped reads. For this, we use the genomic alignments of all libraries used and uh, use transcript clean with additional help from public short read data to correct junction sites, then using Talon to identify novel genes and isoforms. For each group, we could see around 53,000 isoforms expressed and around 60% of the reads aligned to known models, but then 40% of the reads make up novel transcripts with a significant number of antisense and intergenic isoforms newly described. We apply some filtering to produce a more stringent whitelist in order to carry through to downstream analysis. On the right hand side, you can see that for the complement receptor 4B, we could see upregulation of two new isoforms annotated through Talon in the aged mice. Going forward, we want to repeat this analysis on the expanded isoform annotations from Talon. And additionally, we want to see of these isoform switchings, how do they connect to the isoform specific changes in poly A length? Ongoing is the testing of various RNA modification tools such as XPOR and M6A net. 
And currently I'm struggling at how best to then analyze this raw signal downstream of just detection. So help is always appreciated. I'd like to finish in thanking the following individuals for their help with the experiments and also my supervisor Jay Shin for his supportive help. This work was financially funded by Riken and the Japanese government. Just as importantly, I also like to raise attention to the fantastic work from the many members of the Aki Minola lab who are more involved in this complicated aging project. And thank you for your attention.